So for anyone who's wondering, this cuckoo clock here is not a Schneider. It says Schneider on here because this thing came with the the one downstairs, and that's a Schneider. This is a Hubert Herr. Um, but yeah, this is not a Schneider. Just want to um, make that clear because I just hung this up on here just for fun. But yeah, this is a Hubert Herr. And I'm going to tell the story about this real quick. So you see there's two... There's two there's two doors. One this is for the cuckoo and that's for the music. I got this in 2013 from my grandparents. They bought this thing for me. I don't I don't know from where, but it used to have three weights. This is for the timekeeping and then this is the cuckoo. And then there used to be a third one that hung, and that's for the music box. The music box is still in there, but apparently when I was younger I pulled the, the weight somehow. And it just, it, it broke. I broke the music box. It's still up there. Like, we can unhook this. But sometimes I, I just have it locked because this door gets um, open sometimes. But yeah, the guy used to come out and play the music. It's right up there. Like, when the cuckoo comes out, you could see it. The music box, you could see it. It's, it's right there. It's above the cuckoo. Yeah. So that doesn't work anymore. You can, you can, t I, I took the clock off the wall and I, I, you can do it with my, you, I can do it with my, with my finger. It'll still work. It's just there's something, I broke something in there. We tried to fix it, but something like there's like a, like a lever or a latch or something that holds it, that holds the weight. So we put the weight on and it was cuckoo. It, it, it didn't even start. It like went to right here. The hand, it, we put it right here and the thing just dropped. Like the, the weight for the music box, it just dropped to the floor. It didn't even work. We tried to get it fixed to some some places. A lot of places said it wasn't worth it because Hubert Herr doesn't make good clocks. I mean, this is a pretty nice clock. It's a little chipped on the side, but that was that. This was from me. I don't know what happened to the door and the top thing there, but this was from me when I put it on the table. It might have scratched a little bit. I mean, it's not a bad clock. But it's, uh, this isn't even this doesn't even have a sticker for the, like the VDS, which is the Black Forest Association, whatever thing that is, that approves this is a real Black Forest. It doesn't even have that, so I'm not even sure the Schneider does. That thing has a it has a sticker on the back. I think I showed it in one of the videos. If you want to see that video, I'll post it. It'll appear like up here somewhere at the end of this video for the in-depth tour of the Schneider downstairs. But anyway, we'll let it ring now, let it cuckoo now, and I'll show you what this thing does. Cuckoo still works fine. It just skips and it's sometimes it just stops. So you'll hear it skip, it just, it just like jumps. See, it, it's 11, but it, it just rang 10. Sorry about the handshake. But watch this. This thing jumps. It didn't do it just now, but just watch what happens. Also, the timekeeping works fine on this thing, too. It keeps time. Very nice. Just watch what happens. We get to 12. Watch what happens. It jumps. See that? See that? And, like, it's weird. like, skips or it jumps. I mean, it still works. Sometimes just, it, it starts cuckooing like it doesn't even go. Like, it, it, it like starts, but then it seems like it gets jammed, and then it just stops. And then I have to like, like do like this. I gotta like play around with the thing, and then it works. This thing's kind of a pain, but it still works, so I'm just gonna keep it for now. Okay, anyway, continue on, continuing on with the tour. See if I can wind this or not, just let it um, ring. Can't really do it. Just a bit of a headphone warning here. It's pretty loud. 
but it wakes me up, so here we go. Almost there. Yeah, and that was that was wound halfway. I didn't even I didn't even wind that the whole thing. Like, see, look at this. You can wind. This is for the yeah that that one right there made in China above it. That thing, you can wind it. And I just wound it halfway, and it's ringing forever. It, look at that. Did you see it? It also moves. Like it was vibrating. It's so it's so strong. But I mean, the thing wakes me up. I try and tell. I don't want to. Let me see. I'm like, I tell Alexa to play it. I, I mean, I tell Alexa to wake me up at 6 a.m. She doesn't even, she sometimes it doesn't even work. I don't know what's wrong with her. But, like, this thing, this thing wakes me up. I have it on 7 just because it's Saturday right now and I want to sleep in a little bit. Um, but, yeah, I have this on 7 and just think this thing wakes me up. It wakes up the whole house. It's really loud, especially if the door is open, which is not, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even leave the door open at, at night when I go to bed. But yeah, and you can also silence this. Just flip this switch right here, and now it, now it won't even ring at all. So now continue on, continuing on with the tour. So usually I would cut the video right here, and then I would go downstairs and film the rest of the clocks down there. But you probably noticed this. Now what's this? Look at this now. This is brand new. I got this yesterday. This is uh, my new Hamilton uh, carriage clock. Or some people call it mantle clock. Some people call it bracket mantle clock. I just call it a carriage clock because it has a handle up here. And I think that's the, that's the best name. That suits it. So um, let me tell you how I got this thing. I got this a week ago. Last Saturday, I ordered it from eBay. And it just shipped yesterday. It came here yesterday. Um... Very nice, very nice. It's whoever took care of this thing, whoever had this before, really took care of this. I have to get this door open. This, this, um, yeah, the the magnet for this door is very, very strong. So it's kind of a pain to get the door open. It kind of moves, but yeah, whoever took whoever had this before really took good care of this thing. Like they must have cleaned this. The hands are very nice. Everything works fine. This will this will run for one week on one rind one winding. It's going off. It's a very very nice sound. I've I really have never heard a better clock that sounds as nice as this. Well, a better mantle clock. The grandfather clock sound way better than this, but I've never heard a mantle clock sound any better than this. Um, but yeah, this will run for one week. I was saying this will run for one week on one winding, and you can turn this off at night. You just flip this switch down there, and now it won't make any noise. And when you put when you want to put it back on, just put it back up. It won't go all the way up, but now it's on the chime position. So you could just turn it off anytime you want. I do it before I go to bed, and then in the morning I turn it back on. It this is a it has a it has a Hermley movement, and it plays the Westminster chime. On the, I don't even, I'm, I don't even know what the quarter, I don't even know. I'm just going to say 15 minutes, half hour, 45 minutes, and then the hour plus the hour strike. Then there's a door on the back. A lot of stuff on here. I'm sorry about that, but see this door on the back. Get this thing open. I don't know, you can't, probably can't really see back here, but that's the movement. I am going to do an in-depth tour on this. So you will get a better view of this. It has a spring escapement. It doesn't have a pendulum in here. So you, I, I just have these things here just to make it straight. Because it was something, this thing is not, this um, wood is not like really straight. So it was like crooked a little bit. But I'm going to let it chime again. Yeah, we, can, we can see if we can look in the back. Very nice, very nice clock. Let me see. Hopefully you can, yeah, you can, I think you can see that a little bit.
So the sound does dampen. Oh yeah, there was a, actually, let me say there was a plaque on here. I took it off, but it was right here. You can see where it was. And it says Rufus F. Britt on it. Apparently he lived from September 12th, 1938 to June 1st, 1976. I, have, I don't know, I don't know who that is. I, I, don't, I have no clue. Um, but yeah, I just, I just put it back here and taped it because I don't really want that up here. And this, I forgot to mention, this has a key. So you wind it up, you just stick the keys in there and you pour it you want and it'll, you just wind it up. There's also a little thing on there in the back. So you just put that, put the key in here if you want to, if you like, if you want to carry it or whatever. You just put the key in there. See, and now it'll hold it for you. It's pretty convenient. I just, I just keep it under here. It's easier. So I don't, so I don't have to open up the back and whatever. But so the sound, I was saying the sound does dampen if the door is open and closed. Well, if the, if the door is closed, the sound is dampened. If the door is open, you can hear it more, but it's still pretty loud, even when the door is closed. It has very, very nice uh, chime rods. Yep, so I'm going to do an in-depth tour of this today. And, uh, yeah, so let's continue on with the tour. This is going to be a good clock for YouTube. I can already tell. <laughs> 